We've also got the inquiry forms, the waitlist forms and enrollment forms that you can have a look at. Um, at using. If you already have that in your service, then that's fine as well. Um, but this is also to increase your um, usage of your positions at the centre. So we've got the inquiry form, which you are able to book a tour um, for your families to book tours and things like that. And then that will get processed into your either your manage inquiries or your manage waitlist section. So using the inquiry form, which, um, you know, we'll provide more information a little bit later on. Um, once you fill in the enrollment form, there is an option to book and um, book the tours using the staff diary. So what we'll do is to make the tours available for services to, uh, for families, sorry, to book into, you have to create an event. So you would go here and press um, title, which would be centre tour, and then the type would also be a centre tour as well. And we've got a few there. So once you do that, it will appear here for you to select, for the families to select, and then you they can submit it and you can review that information in your inquiry forms and con contact them to see um, you know, when to come in, things like that. And then you also have the option, once you've met with the family, to waitlist um, or send them an enrollment form. So we have a waitlist form as well. So for families that already have done their um, an inquiry form and they'd like to be on the waitlist, here's a look at our waitlist form. And if you wanted to send them an enrollment, then we've got the enrollment link here, which they can work through. It's quite a long process. So once they complete the either the uh, inquiry or waitlist, the waitlist one will come up here and it will give you all the details and you can add notes and things like that. So all these families are waiting. Again, here at the, um, you can edit, you can delete, you can um, add to the mailing list, or you can send them the enrollment form link, which they'll receive, they can complete, and then that lands in, in the enrollment forms section. So here you can then have the opportunity to edit the form and it will create um, it will create the accounts for the parents, the children, um, as well as add the permanent bookings and things like that as well on the form. All right, so um, we do have a new feature coming on soon as well with the enrollment forms is that they can edit existing enrollment forms and update the personal information um, if it changes. So, you know, it streamlines that process again a little bit more because, you know, sometimes over, I guess, the years, you know, families are there for, um, you know, four or five years, things like that. So it's good every year to just get them to update their um, details as well. So that's something that's coming soon that we're sharing with you. And that pretty much concludes, I guess, the re-enrollments using your, um, the reporting for utilisation, as well as the enrollment process to then um, kickstart off the new year.